Hey, what is up guys? Brandstacks TV here and welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, please don't forget to click that red subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you will be notified with my new uploads here on this channel. And for today's video guys, I'll show you how to revive your Huawei devices when it's being soft bricked. And if you are interested, then let's go ahead and start. <music> Alright, and so we are back. Now for this process guys, we are going to need this uh, versions of our Huawei's High Suite for PC or laptop and our High Suite proxy, which I will link down below in the description of this video, so please check it out. Now, so let me go ahead and explain some things first. Now, for this um, method here, so this is going to be uh, for soft brick um, situations. So, let's know first what does soft brick means. So, based on Wikipedia, a soft brick device may show signs of life but fails to boot or may display an error screen. So, that means, guys, that when you turn on your phone, Probably you will still see the uh, welcome message or you know any signs on the screen and, and um, sometimes it may go directly to the uh, recovery mode uh, screen all right but for for you to get to the uh, fast boot um, option or menu you have to make sure that it is connected to your uh, PC so it will trigger that and uh, if you if you want to know more about how to set your phone to the fast boot uh, mode you can definitely search that on YouTube there's a lot of uh, tutorials on how to do that but in this case here I'll just show you um, you know the rest of the process so long as you are able to enter the fast boot mode for your Huawei device all right so um, now for this process here since we'll be using high suite proxy let's open this thing here all right make sure these things are checked and this one here for recovery OS option and just make sure um, everything down here are exactly the same with what uh, you should have there on your rent while on this here this will change later later on once we select the right firmware for our device okay so now assuming that your phone is already on a fast boot mode and it's connected to your um, laptop let me just do that here in my end it's just this is just for demo uh, purposes okay give me just a sec really quick here All right, so it's now booting up into fast boot mode here. All right, so um, there are gonna be some things that we need to uh, modify here. So first, you need to make sure that your device will be supported by high suite to do this um, recovery method, okay? And that is to check where your um, operating system is installed so normally uh, it's on here or in your case just make sure you know where it's installed so mine is on my C drive and under that um, drive where your OS is installed just make sure to go to the users folder go to whatever your name on the PC and then go to app data if you don't show this make sure you click on view and to have the hidden items uh, checked here okay and under the app data choose local and look for high suite and here under users uh, user data folder just go under update dog dev and then we need to edit this file here the high suite config dot xml um, to edit this easily guys I usually use this 
uh, program here called Notepad++. So whatever you have there that could you know help you edit this one just should be fine. And just leave it here as of now. So what I have here uh, is a Mate 30 Pro. Uh, it, it's not included on the file here, but I already have added the uh, this line. So what I did here, just to you know give you an idea, is just to copy any of whatever's on here under the uh, default tab. Okay. So assuming that you don't have the list. Uh, or you or your device listed here, so I'm you're gonna copy it right like this. So click enter and paste, and so you can just delete some of the spaces, and it should line up with the others. Okay, and from here you just need to add the model number, which in my case it's the, this one LIO L twenty nine, and then the name of your device here and the same with here all right so once it's done you just need to click on the save button or you can go file and then save so it will get saved successfully all right and just leave it open guys because sometimes it may get um deleted you know um if the system decides to do that but anyways i'll explain that one later on and also again just leave the uh um whatever the editor that you're using there okay so it will be easier to save that later on once it needs to be done again but for this part here we need to go back under the hash suite uh, folder. So the same thing that we did a while ago, but this one, instead of user data, click on log. And what I do usually here, guys, is to delete the system update logs. So if you have, um, you know, use any other devices uh, re related to using the hash suite, um, it may show some other information. So, you know, to avoid you getting confused, so just delete it. If you need that log, you can just edit it and put dot old perhaps so you can just use that later on so let me do that so just to set an example here but um, you know you can also delete this one which I will do here in my instance I don't need the old um, log there all right so it's now deleted just leave this window open as well and so what I usually do is I will run high suite proxy okay so the files here are not the the right files yet so this is just to you know um, have the system log created so click set up let it run successfully there and once done just open has suite app And we just need to trigger the recovery system um, process, which is here, system recovery. And here under supported device, you should you should see already your device listed here. If the uh, file that we just uh, opened a while ago from here has been edited successfully, so if it doesn't show here, then we can edit that later again and save it. Okay, but for now, um, we'll just trigger this to do the system recovery from here say recover and just let it um, you know whatever error it's on there that's fine because we don't have the right um, firmwares yet and go back to the log folder here and refresh it should give you another system update log just open it up and uh, from here let's check what our device info is you will see it here okay so this is where you will be basing uh, whatever the uh, installed um, or previously installed firmware here because that's what we need to have the process um, done successfully so in this case here we have uh, the dot one and two version for EMUI 11 for this device so that's what we're going to find here we will go to firmware finder in my case I can put in my device here because it's already listed 
um, if yours is not listed here, if you don't see your device, you can actually find the uh, base uh, version of your f firmware by using the info. Where's this here? Info um, showing here, this one. Okay, you just need to copy this and search it using that under the target version and your region which can be found as well here for the firmware custom software so mine is c636 so i will put that here all right and so mine was the dot 192 so 11.0.0.192 for the base software so whatever yours um is listed there that's what you need to search for okay so in this case I will put the uh, 192 all right that's added successfully now we need the cost software here so let's go back to system update log so mine is 63 I mean 6 c636 6 so I'm gonna search that also from here So I'll just put my device directly so it will be easier. And find the CUSD file. So that was 11.0.0.6C636. So I'll add this one here. That's done. And also for the preload. So I'm going to go with 11.0.0.5. R8 version for the same region so just go back to firm finder look for preload R8 version with 11.0.0.5 let me confirm yes that's it so let me add that here and it's added successfully and to confirm you need to go back to Hasweet proxy and check to make sure um, you got all correctly here. All right, so it looks like everything is are correct here. So I'm gonna press setup. And open up High Suite app again. say yes and system recovery click click on supported devices making sure it's on here if not go back to the file um, the note editor that we have uh, was still open a while ago so just make sure that you still have the uh, you know model information here added and just click on save again if it's not yet save and then uh, click on the setup again just to uh, make sure to return here in this uh, page and then click again on system recovery and it should show that time your device here if it's showing then you can now proceed to click on continue so once everything is correct it will start to load and show the uh, firmware information that it will be uh, you know um, downloading and trying to recover your phone with so as you can see, you need to click on agree, and that's it. Pretty much it. Um, uh, so long as you have all the information selected here uh, correctly, and everything is working fine, so it will start to download, decompress, install, and once done, everything will be good. So in this case, uh, this is just for demo purposes. I don't need to do this for my device, but I have done this uh, previously with a different device uh, that I have um, recovered successfully. So this is just to help you guys if you need this process. And uh, hopefully uh, this has helped you, of course. And uh, once again, for those who are new here, if this helped you, um, please don't forget to click that subscribe button. 
um, turn on the notification bell so you will get notified with my new videos and for all my supporters and subscribers thank you very much and to all you guys thank you for watching this video and as always see you on the next one peace Hello my friends, Lorenz Dykes TV here and if you like my video, please smash that like button, share the video, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your help. Here's how you do it. Boom. Bada bim bada boom. And if you are on your phone, here's how you do it. Boom. Bada bim bada boom. Thank you and see ya in my next videos. Peace.